Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I'm going to be doing an exercise from the book uh, Visual C Sharp 2012, how to program, uh, chapter 8, exercise 21 called Turtle Graphics. Now rather than reading you the uh, instructions, this is what we will be creating. We have a grid 20 by 20 with a little X representing our turtle and instructions that uh, tell us how to draw on the board. If press 1 it means pen is up, so we are not drawing, uh, you can st still move the turtle, but uh, you don't draw on the, on the board. Press 2 uh, for pen down, meaning starting to draw. And then you move uh, north, east, south or west. And you specify, let's say, moving uh, 10 spaces south would be 5 for south, and then 10 for the number of spaces to move. So let me demonstrate. Currently, the, it says pen is currently not drawing. So uh, let's just keep moving. Uh, I'll move east. I'll press four, and uh, I'll press four. And uh, it says turtle is moving east. Uh, specify the number number of spaces to move. Let's say five. So now our x is over here. One, two, three, four, five spaces to the east. Now I'll put the pen down, I'll press 2, now it says pen is currently drawing, and let's go south. So I'll go uh, 5 and 10 spaces south. And now we draw a line of 10, uh, or we move 10 spaces and draw a line. Uh, and let's go east again, this time still drawing, it's, it says always tells you whether the, you are drawing or not. So let's move 10 spaces to the east. There you go. And let's go uh, north, but let's do uh, let's say 20 spaces, which is too much uh, up there. So when you enter too much, it says invalid move, and it tells you how many spaces you can move. So only 10 spaces to the north. So let's do one and ten. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, one is pen up instead of north. Uh, I meant pen down and 3 going to north and 10 spaces. So now we hit, here we are and let's go west to 6 and let's say only one space. So I move one space, pen up so not drawing, let's go west again, 5 spaces. So now we moved but you can see that it didn't draw. I put pen down the west again, let's say 8 spaces and here we are. So and this is how you keep walking. Uh, if I press too, man too many spaces again, it will tell you how many spaces you can move that direction. So let's say 5 and 19, I can go all the way down and uh, 4 and 10. So this is what we will be creating. Uh, also, if I press A instead of, uh, uh, you know, it's an invalid option, it tells you invalid input. So and if you press 7, the game quits. So this is what we will be creating. So this is a uh, fairly, uh, well, I would say intermediate programming. If you're a complete beginner, I don't think you'll be able to follow. You need to have some uh, knowledge of uh, uh, of arrays and uh, including uh, uh, 2D arrays. And uh, I'm gonna be doing it as an OOP exercise. Uh, so we'll be creating objects and you know properties, methods, and all that good stuff that goes with it. So this is a little complex, but I'll be, I'll be explaining everything as I go through it. And uh, yeah, if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing we'll do, let's create the object we will need. So right click, and by object I mean of course class is first. So I'm gonna create a class, and since this is called Turtle Graphics, the first one will be turtle. If I can spell it, turtle. There you go. So that's the turtle. Let's, uh, you know what? Instead of program, let me just rename that, uh, and I'll call it uh, run game. And yes, I want to rename everything, including the uh, inside files that are corresponding with the 
program file. So now it's called uh, run game instead. All right, the next one uh, I'm gonna create class called pen because we will be drawing, we will have pen up and pen down. Uh, one more class, actually not one more, but the next class is uh, we don't need the game board because that's what we will be displaying, right? And we will need a class called uh, messages to display any error messages like we saw that you know invalid move there's only 19 spaces you can move and stuff like that so messages will be the next class and I think that's enough I don't think we need any more classes um, so um, which one do we want to start with um, let's start with the messages now the messages since this is not gonna be really doing anything uh, the, the class doesn't have to be instantiated for us in order to be useful it, we don't have to remember the state of the object uh, in, inside the messages class I'm gonna make it uh, make it static that way we don't have to instantiate it and uh, there's no really need like I said this is just simply going to display instructions and error messages uh, so um, the first I'm gonna create a method called instructions all right and uh, in it I'm going to just create console at the right line and type the instructions uh, for the user so it will be type your commands to draw on the game board and uh, I paused the video so you don't have to watch me type these but basically this simply says you know 1 equals pen up, 2 equals pen down, 3 equals north, 4 east, 5 south, 6 west and had an example of how to move uh, 5, 10 it means you move in south and spaces and seven is quit so that's our first uh, message the next one uh, static void and uh, we can do I think I'll call it invalid pen action that means like if you enter something other than one and two for pen up or pen down but before that, actually, uh, let me make a property string called error message get set because this is gonna be the property that will hold the current message that is uh, being invoked. Uh, so uh, our error message equals, and uh, I will do n invalid pen action please enter value 1 equals pen up 2 equals pen down and that's all that's the one message uh, next message uh, let's do public static uh, void invalid direction again because uh, the input uh, from the user must be between one two three four five uh, up to seven everything else is a wrong input we don't have any action associated with that we only uh, have action associated with one through seven so i will do i will just copy paste this and it's gonna be invalid uh, direction direction and please enter enter uh, the values and do it like this three for north four for east 
five for south and uh, what is it six for west so that those are the valid directions everything else is an invalid direction and um, all right so that's the one um, let's do public static void invalid input like basically if this is not a you know not just between one and seven uh, but also if it's let's say a string like a or something like that invalid character so our error message will equal uh, invalid input input must be an integer between one and seven okay and uh, so that's the invalid input and uh, there's one more let's do public static void invalid spaces this is gonna be invoked when a user tries to move too many spaces one directions that would lead the turtle outside of the game board so um, let's just do invalid uh, input mm. spaces uh, you know no this one will be let's just make this one spaces must be an integer that basically means if the input for the spaces is invalid because remember we are entering the direction first let's say south and then we're entering another number for the number of spaces so we have to actually verify that as well so to make sure that it's a, a valid uh, character that it's a, it's a number a valid number and let's do one more static invalid move and this one will be the uh, uh, directions oh I'm, I forgot sorry I forgot the parentheses there you go so um, and this is gonna be invalid move and uh, it will simply say uh, you can only move you can only move some number of spaces which we will come back to this because it will say we can only move uh, what, whatever the number of spaces to that direction so it will say let's say you can only move five spaces to the south for example so this is gonna be some variables that we will be passing here but I don't know them uh, I don't know what they are yet because we don't have those so for now I'll make it void uh, and without any any arguments but we will be passing some arguments there okay so these are our messages this is the first class let me just uh, put a quick comment there so we remember what we're doing here static class uh, messages are reused and there is no functionality so uh, that's why it's static Oh, functionality let's just say other than displaying them the messages and our property here let's just so we know what it is uh, holds the current error message all right so this is basically our class I don't think I need all these right there I only need a system for this class so um, yeah this is good enough for the messages and in the next video we will continue to creating our classes uh, so i'll see you in the next video take care